what's up you guys and thank you for i guess sticking around for uh, another video for black lightning um for the most part you already know it's the holidays and i've done this last year um it's a little difficult to make videos especially because you know family traveling all that stuff you know it's around the holidays so in between obviously on the regular weeks obviously you get your regular scheduled uploaded videos and then what we're going to do after that is for the most part we're going to be discussing black lightning now in all honesty I think the CW is actually running some of the best episodes of The Flash, Black Lightning, uh, I've heard The Arrow's pretty good as well, and you know, pretty much everyone has been having a really good run when it comes to their episodes this season, at least their current season that's running right now for this fall season when it comes to the Crisis on Infinite Earths event. So, surprisingly enough, like I said, this is pretty good actually. There's some really good episodes. I'm really enjoying Black Lightning way more than I probably should. Uh, the Flash, the last like four, five, six episodes have been pretty good. I mean, like really, really good for the most part. So, I'm definitely enjoying that. Um, everything seems to be pretty much on a roll actually. So, I'm actually really proud of the CW. So, but before I dive into the details of Black Lightning and this Crisis on Infinite Earths event, and him being involved in it, please be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're feeling. And uh, without further ado, let's kind of just dive into uh, today's video, today's topic. Okay, so we already seen in the last episode, the most recent episode of Black Lightning, where Jennifer and pretty much Brandon have kind of gotten a little closer, not necessarily like in a romantic way, even though I kind of see that going that way. But they've kind of gotten a little closer. They've gotten a little bit more familiar with each other and seeing how their powers kind of interact with each other. And he kind of confirmed exactly what I kind of speculated before, where basically his powers are not necessarily absorbing Jennifer's powers. But for the most part, since he controls the Earth, it's pretty much grounding her powers. So the same example he gave in the series I'm going to use in this video, where basically when lightning strikes the ground, the reason why for the most part, you know, people don't get electrocuted if it hits the ground is basically it's ground out the electrical you know aspect of the lightning itself is basically neutralizing the effects so that way you know it doesn't necessarily you know electrocute somebody else now obviously if you hit something else besides the ground then obviously you risk the chance of it you know obviously you know shocking other people all that other stuff now what makes this whole concept interesting or not even just the brand thing i mean just black lightning in this crisis on, on infinite earths event is a lot of people are curious on how this is going to fully affect the series and going forward when it comes to black lightning because remember black lightning is the newest of the cw shows when it comes to the arrowverse so for the most part there's still going to be a lot of you know seasons left um we're only on season three and for the most part i'm pretty sure this is going to go over up to season eight at least because arrow was the longest running show on the cw and obviously they ended at season eight so you can naturally assume that most of these cw shows are going to run until about eight seasons which is actually a really good time to stop for most shows so i'm pretty sure they're going to last until about season eight and basically like i said this is one of the newer shows so how is this going to affect the future of the show or the future of you know characters who are involved with black lightning so the original crisis on infinite earths event that happened back in the 1980s when it came to the comic books for the most part it was basically just to take all these multiverses um all these universes and condense them into a singular universe for the most part and basically you know anything from the jsa the justice league of america um any other you know superhero that was written by dc that technically exists existed in the multiverse was condensed into a single universe now for the most part i don't think it's going to make any drastic changes to the series of black lightning for the most part i think for the most part you know the series is going to continue to operate the way that it usually does however when it comes to certain aspects like you know when introducing new villains or new heroes or you know crossover events or just even crossover events involving just one other show uh, for the most part this is going to affect i guess the storytelling of that particular season for example let's say tobias escapes and this is post crisis on infinite earths obviously black lightning would be one of the heroes to be dealing with you know tobias and then let's say tobias acts the help of like snart for example uh you know or maybe firefly or something like that like maybe he requested the help of you know constantine you know i'm just giving examples obviously some of these examples wouldn't really happen but i'm just saying for the sake of this example uh let's say he acts with the help of constantine you know who we've seen on the legends of tomorrow um, who we know exists in, you know, um, in the Arrowverse because obviously he's been an Arrow in Legends. So basically at this point, you know, they'll allow certain characters to interact with other characters, which can affect the outgoing uh, or the basically the direction of the season of that, you know, present day or I guess future season in this case. 
So that's pretty much what I think is going to happen when it comes to the whole crisis event. Yes, obviously we could see things like, you know, uh, obviously we do know like in the flash, for example, they're starting to explore the concept of there are different types of metahumans out there. Not everyone was, ex uh, was affected by the particle accelerated accelerator on their earth or maybe another earth, but also come to find out that killer frost was actually a metahuman before the accelerator and it kind of, I guess, you know, exacerbated the, I guess, uh, her abilities or whatever was going on when it came to her father and his experiments. But Black Lightning as well, their metahumans are way different. Uh, you know, you have the green light babies or uh, those who are exposed to, you know, some form of the green light, whether it be the flu virus or uh, well, the flu vaccination that supposedly took place in the 1960s. Or if it was a drug that a lot of these kids were exposed to in present day, it can be anything. Or basically some kids are born with abilities like Jennifer and Nissa and also Brandon. So there's many reasons why, you know, there can be different types of metahumans, different levels of powers. And, you know, basically for the most part, it seems like they're going to just be introducing different heroes and villains and just different characters from different walks of life. And basically they all got their powers in various different forms, introducing different types of metahumans and maybe they'll cross over. And then let's say a metahuman from Black Lightning or the Flash can come together, have a kid. And next thing you know, they can have an even more powerful metahuman. You know, there's many things you can do with this, but I think that's pretty much what the show serves or the whole crisis on infinite earths event serves basically allowing these shows to cross over not just simply heroes and villains uh, but also when it comes to concepts when it comes to the ability to you know merge or have certain you know events happen that affect other shows for example like you know let's say the speed force is out of control and the planet earth is in danger then it would affect black lightning it would affect supergirl you know it affect all these places simply because they condense it into a single universe so basically at this point it has no choice but to leak over into other shows but also introducing all these characters and villains and superheroes would also allow the possibility for them to introduce you know some form of the justice league Remember, we already have Superman, we have Supergirl, we have Black Lightning, we have The Flash, we have Green Hour, uh, we have a couple minor villains, we have Mr. Terrific, who is actually very much currently on the Justice League, uh, we have Vibe, who was actually at one point on the Justice League, we have plenty of characters who are actually on the Justice League in general, or in some way, shape, or form on the Outsiders team, as well as associated, associated with Batman, we have Batwoman, the TV show, uh, i only seen the first two episodes, so I kind of forgot about it for a moment. But um, basically, you know, we have plenty of these universes or characters where they can introduce uh, just just various different forms of villains where they can make, you know, the 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 League of Doom or whatever. I said the League of Doom. I'm just overwhelmingly tired. But basically, you have the the Legion of Doom. I don't know why I said the League of Doom. Anyways, but yes, you have Lex Luthor, you know, the, the Legion of Doom. Basically, all these characters can come down and condense and basically it would allow a fluid transition between, you know, Black Lightning, uh, the Flash, you know, the Arrow, well, even though the Arrow's canceled, but, you know, characters from the Arrow and characters from Batwoman and Supergirl and Superman is supposed to begin his own show. Basically, all this is going to start to flow together like fluid and basically they'll have huge interactions with each other, which can cause for some really great storytelling. What if, for example, they decide to combine the show for one season because of a singular villain that they may have in common that they cannot defeat in, like, alone? Let's say the Flash and Black Lightning teamed up for, you know, a few episodes for a villain that, you know, they're both heavily involved with or who may have correlations with their you know, each other's villains for that season. So it'll be pretty dope actually to see something like that. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, like I said, this wasn't supposed to be a heavy, extensive video, but also I think this is just this purpose that, you know, the whole crisis event serves a way for them to provide, uh, provide fan service for us, but also a way for us to kind of get, you know, not only just a Justice League, but just seeing different combination of characters interact with others because one thing we've learned about the comics is they, for the most part, stuck with their villains for them over the course of, you know, their publication history. But imagine having like, you know, blood work and then him crossing over to Superman. Basically, that would be a very interesting concept because blood work manipulating the body of a Kryptonian would be out of this world. But uh, let me know what you think. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share and of course, subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're feeling. And I hope to see you later on. <laughs> Peace out.